Hyundai or Hyundai, they've just said today that they plan on electric cars in the near future that are capable of charging in only a couple of minutes, as in literally only a few minutes. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Hyundai, they want 400 kilowatt charging speeds and then three minute charging. So they believe that in the future, their batteries will be able to charge in only three minutes. Now, interesting quote here from Inside EVs. Inside EVs say this, when you buy a modern Hyundai or Hyundai electric vehicle, you're already getting a car with some of the fastest DC charging out there. A Hyundai Ioniq 5 and its various Kia cousins all use an 800 volt electrical architecture. This is true. So on a fast enough charger, they can charge up from 10 to 80% in under 20 minutes. Often those speeds are the purview of much more expensive EVs. Now, is it true that you can charge your Hyundai or your Kia EV in from 10 to 80% in a well under 20 minutes? Actually, no, that's completely false. In fact, in the real world, they don't charge as fast as what you'd think. They charge slower, interestingly, than an XPG6, which is the car that I own, and that the G6 is only rated at 290 kilowatt charging. Now, don't get me wrong, um, Hyundai and Kia vehicles do charge quickly, but they are getting behind some of their rivals. There's no doubt about it. And considering the new Zika 7X and the new Xpeng G6 both can charge at 450 to 500 kilowatt, um, the truth is that Hyundai's EVs, they are falling behind some of their rivals in the industry. Of course, so is Tesla in this respect. Hyundai, though, say that um, this charging speed that they're already putting out is not enough and that they're going to bring out options soon with 400 kilowatt speeds. Um, however, they're aiming for two to three times that charging speed. And that's a good aim to have considering the fact that Zika's already hit that. I mean, the new Zika 001 can charge in five minutes from 10 to 80 percent. It's got 1.3 megawatt charging. That's 1,300 kilowatt charging. It's the fastest charging car in the world. Interestingly, I believe those batteries are, are from CATL, Cadle. So different kind of batteries, right? Lithium ion phosphate batteries coming from Cadle, capable of handling those kind of charging speeds without battery degradation. It's a different chemistry to the batteries and the architecture you're getting in current Hyundai or Kia EVs. And the truth is that Hyundai and Kia EVs, 800 volt, architecture EVs do not use lithium ion phosphate, which are the batteries you can charge at those kind of wild speeds. They use NMC batteries. The chief of Hyundai's new European Development Center, Tyrone Johnson, told the British publication Auto Express that making faster charging EVs is key to getting everyone to get out of an internal combustion car. After all, those who can refuel in a matter of minutes, under 20 is good, but a couple of minutes is the real key, he believes, to getting everyone mass adoption. The expectation from customers is that it will take three minutes to fill a car, the same as it does with an internal combustion engine, Johnson told Auto Express. It's maybe a perception rather than reality, but they worry about range anxiety and whether they will suddenly need to drive 200 miles. The goal is to get to the same speed as internal combustion. So is it actually necessary? I mean, do you need an EV that'll charge in three minutes? No, I don't think you do. Do you need an EV that will charge in three minutes for mass adoption? Absolutely not. And no one in Norway agrees with that. Absolutely no one. 98% of the market is, in fact, 98.5% and people are buying EVs that charge at normal speeds. They don't even have access to some of the fastest charging EVs you can buy in China. What about in China? I mean, the truth is the average person buys an EV that can't charge anywhere near that fast and more than 50% of the market now is electric. Now, I don't personally think this is correct. I don't believe you need to be able to charge an EV in three minutes to get mass adoption. I think really what you need is education. Most people, if you've got an EV that can do, say, 500 kilometers of range and charge at a decent speed, say 20 minutes from 10 to 80 percent, that, in my opinion, that's mass market adoption with the right education. If people don't think their battery pack, which is delusional madness, their battery pack is going to die within... I don't know, three years and they have to buy a new battery pack. All this nonsense, mass mass media, fossil fuel funded media, all this stuff people have been brainwashed with. If they were able to be educated and they weren't kind of, to be honest, a little bit stupid, some of these people, then they'd realize there's already plenty of options on the market. Now, these people 
don't need three minute charging because even if three minute charging came along, they'd be too dense to realize it was even here. On a 350 kilowatt fast charger, your average Ionic 5, says Inside EVs, will go from 10 to 80% in 20 minutes. Um, they're saying they've done it in less time. Now, the truth is the real world tests that I've seen show it does it a little bit slower than that. It's normally about 22 minutes, 10 to 80%. But anyway, most modern EVs are in the 20 to 30 minute range. However, the Porsche Cayenne Electric, it can do it at 400 kilowatt. It can charge in 18 minutes. And that's a pretty big battery pack in the Cayenne. It's a Porsche though. I think to me, the more relevant uh, example would be cars people can actually afford, not a $200,000 luxury barge. Something like, like I said, an XBG6 is affordable. A Zika 7X is relatively affordable. Uh, there's numerous cars, right, that are within the price target of mass market. The mass market, for example, that can charge very quickly. But this is, to be honest, for me, one of the key reasons why I've been critical of BYD and Kia and some other brands when they put out EVs that, in my opinion, charge way too slowly. For example, the new BYD Addo 2. Really cool car, yeah? But honestly, for me, 65 kilowatt DC charging kind of means if you come along and you're brand new to an EV and you've never bought one before, you think, wow, it's a great price, uh, 20,000 US dollars, I can afford that. You buy it and then you tell all your friends EVs charge so slowly because you have a slow charging EV. Therefore, that's your experience. You might tell 50 people that, right? So then the perception of people who don't have an EV is EVs charge really slow. And this is the big problem. A lot of people are being educated by who? Their friends. If you buy an EV that charges really slowly, that might be fine for you. But for the average person that does this, they then tell their friends, it takes 45 minutes to charge my EV when I'm on a trip. And that's not a positive. That's a pretty big negative. When the alternative is other cars in a similar price range, costing very similar amount of money, that can charge in 15 minutes are now available on the market. And I think if these other manufacturers were to bring this tech out, fast charging of this speed, and offer them on their more affordable cars, which they could do, there's nothing stopping them from doing this, the tech is not crazy expensive, then this would mean more people would hear about how fast EVs can charge and mass market adoption would happen faster. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we need three minute charging, not by any, not by any stretch of the imagination, but if it's taking 45 to 50 minutes to charge your EV or your hybrid, your plug-in hybrid with its very slow charging speeds, then that's kind of like negative Chinese whispers. I'm not trying to be racist here, but you know what I mean? Chinese whispers is when you tell someone something and then someone else exaggerates it and then it exaggerates it and exaggerates it. So they're exaggerating a negative experience. 45 minutes is a negative experience. But if you do the opposite and you tell them my EV is amazing, it charges in 15 minutes or less, some of these newer cars, then the Chinese whispers go the other way. They say, oh, this guy's car, it's amazing. It charges in 10 minutes, right? So you can kind of push the narrative in one in a negative direction or into a positive direction. More car manufacturers just need to step up and provide the current tech already on the market, mass market, it's there. If x can do it, a little, little, a relatively small company can do it, then freaking hell, BYD, right? This massive conglomerate selling 4 million cars a year, 5 million cars a year, surely they can do it as well. And I don't, I'm not saying every BYD car should have it, but surely BYD's cars shouldn't be charging at 65 kilowatt in 2025 and 2026, which is what a lot of them are doing. Anyway, rant over. Let me know if you agree or you disagree. So if Johnson is right though, then, well, BYD do have the tech. For starters, we know they do, right? They have 1,000 kilowatt, one megawatt charging, but they've only put that charging into, right, two models of cars. And those two models are only available in China. They're not selling, by the way, no one's buying them. Uh, sales are minuscule for those two models. But those two models, they're only available in China and they're more expensive models. Realistically, here's the thing. It's actually not that expensive to put in 450, 450 to 500 kilowatt charging with lithium ion phosphate batteries today. It's not at all. Look at what's available in China. There's quite a lot available now. So we're moving in this direction. Whether Hyundai and Kia or legacy automakers will get there, um, I would say they're going to be pretty slow to the party. Chinese automakers are getting there much quicker. 
Some of them not so much, but some of them are definitely getting there very, very quickly. And we're going to see these kinds of charging speeds that we're seeing with the Zika 001, you know, be able to charge 10 to 80% in six minutes. That's going to be mass market within the next five to seven years. When that happens, I don't think anyone, as long as their neighbor has educated them, will really um, have any problem whatsoever with charging in five to six minutes. Thanks for watching. 